Hello, Paul Robinson from BushcraftCanada.com. Okay, I'm going to do another one of these comparison videos that we have been asked to do. This time between the uh, WM1, this is the new Cobalt uh, WM1, and the R2 Scout in LMAX that came out uh, last year. So I thought I'd just do a compare the two just quickly here, and then I'll look at each individual knife. So the overall dimensions are um, for the uh, for the R2 are 181 mil overall length with an 80mm blade and uh, the WM1 is a 71mm blade and 175mm so handle uh, very similar length um, but the blade is obviously shorter on the uh, WM1 um, I'll talk about the WM1 first, it's been out a long time actually from Fall Niven really excellent little camp knife, very compact, very lightweight um, 3.5mm thick stock this has the new cobalt laminate steel, of course, which is the steel on all the very high-end knives. Von Leven do a tremendous steel, laminated, extremely strong, very high tensile strength, very tough steel, and about 60 HRC, so great edge holding. It has that new ice grind, the improved convex grind on the blade. Very simple knife, um, nice ergonomics on it. Uh, pretty slim. So you've got larger size hands. Uh, this probably isn't going to be the greatest knife for you, but small or medium would work very well um, very lightweight actually only a hundred and I think sorry any um, about 77 grams so pretty much not quite under half the weight of the the R2 so very lightweight as this Thermaron oh, sorry I think it's Zytel handle actually um, it's pretty smooth doesn't have too much uh, traction on it, but has a little bit actually, and the, the knife, your hand sort of sits very naturally under the finger guard there, so it feels pretty secure. But a great little cutting knife, great, you know, bird and trout knife, and round the camp, be excellent and very lightweight. Does come with a nice Zytel sheath as well, fairly simple, but you can belt mount that and carry that in different ways. Has a little finger guard lock on there and a snap. So really great little knife, you know, time tested, been around a long time, and a great compact, lightweight outdoor knife. Now the R2, of course, does fit those bills in some ways, although it's beefier, you can see straight away, 4.5 mil thick stock. It's heavier too, it's 132 grams, so almost twice the weight. So it's, a, it's, it's not that much bigger, but it feels much beefier. Um, sits in the hand very well. I can just about get a four-finger grip on this, although you've got oversized hands, you know, it might be a little bit difficult. Um, the handle has nicely textured too, so you get a nice grip there. Comes with a lanyard hole and extended tang. Like I say, 4.5 mil thick, nice beefy knife. Um, this has the uh, a convex grind, almost a Scandivex actually, and um, it's a really nice quality outdoor knife made for sort of tougher jobs perhaps you'd say than the WM1 um, uses the LMAX steel which of course another outstanding steel is, isn't laminated so it doesn't have quite have that tensile strength of the of the cobalt steel but has a, a number of excellent qualities LMAX one that it, an excellent steel it's corrosion resistant and very tough 62 HRC so it's it's a harder steel been hardened higher than the cobalt so it's going to give you excellent edge holding so this I would think fits more into the category of those sort of uh, it's a compact bushcraft knife you could certainly use it for many of the tasks you use the, the uh, WM1 for but maybe this is a bit more of a robust bushcraft type knife but still very very handy you know very compact and uh, beautifully made of course you get a little bit more of a sophisticated sheath with the R2 has this locking mechanism on it and belt mount and you can mount that in a couple of different ways so but it is a more expensive knife so two great little knives from Fall Niven. you know if you really want to go lightweight WM1 and your hands you know are oversized I would say the WM1 very good choice you're looking for something a bit beefier a bit more capable and you can put up with the weight uh, then I would say the R2 is, a, is, a, is the one to go for but two superb knives you can see them on our website Bushcraft Canada Dot com and as always if you don't see or hear the information you need on a video you can just give me an email paul at bushcraftcanada.com